is Alistair Webster QC, a leading lawyer and a member of the Liberal Democrat Party. That party had a manifesto commitment to support legal aid and at a recent conference passed a resolution in support of legal aid but they have thereafter remained silent and we have heard nothing from Simon Hughes. But we know that there are people in the party who support our campaign and if we're to win this we need it to be a cross-party campaign. So I'm going to ask Alistair to explain what can be done and I ask you to extend him as a campaigner for legal aid a very warm welcome. Alistair Webster QC. Thank you. We all know why we're here. Paul explained it with some clarity. I want to talk about what we need to do. It's a bit disconcerting doing that next to his huge Chris Grayling. The only oversized thing we've seen from him yet has been his expense claims. <laughs> the justice system is being let down by the political system. We have a minister who started with a position of sublime ignorance about the court system and doesn't appear to improve his knowledge base. He won't engage with our representative bodies properly. He won't list any independent advice. He's advised by that serially incompetent organisation, the Ministry of Justice, whose figures are always wrong and who just won't look at alternative ways to deal with the situation. And the parliamentarians, apart from a few honourable exceptions, have been utterly spineless. When Lord Carlisle promoted a debate in the House of Lords against the VHCC proposals, the Labour peers refused to vote, so it was never put to a vote. And my party, whose spring conference starts today, two years ago we voted no cuts overwhelmingly. We saw what the government was doing, and we, in autumn, voted again no cuts overwhelming in the teeth of the Minister's speech. And what's happened, they've ignored it. It's been quite shameful. And we, of course, provided alternatives about funding. We know that the public finances are tight. So Grayling thinks, because of his lack of political opposition, he has a free hit. And it's up to us to make him realise that there will be a political consequence of what he intends to do, and that to press forward with these cuts will finish him off. We must finish it off. We must oppose him. We must stand together. We must demonstrate that the bar and the solicitors are united. That's why today is important. That's why... That's why the no returns policy is important. That's why my chambers and many others will refuse to take work in support of the solicitors after March the 23rd, if that's what they do. The time of division is past. Even the Law Society is being dragged kicking into this fight by its High Street members, to whom we should all congratulate. Well done. <laughs> Grayling has achieved unity in this profession, something no one thought was possible. <laughs> we must stick to our guns for too long, as Nigel said, they relied upon our goodwill. But, and it's been abused, seriously. Mr Grayling, you've lost our goodwill. You've certainly lost our trust. If you don't care about justice, we do. You have one last chance to avoid being the worst Lord Chancellor since the 19th century. Wow. Unless you do change, you will go down in history as that and you will go down. United and firm will defeat you. The politicians may have failed justice, but we, the people of the profession, will not. Thank you, Alistair Webster, to you soon. Alistair Webster. And for those that thought Paul Harris had a particularly booming voice, you are...